YouTube so today I am going to film I haven't filmed in a wee while and every time I come back I always say I'm going to do an update video and there was quite a few people who were saying like oh all you ever do is update videos blah 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 so I decided I'm not going to do one basically I didn't film I've been on holiday I've been busy that's pretty much it so today I thought I would bring you back to quite a quite a fun video for me anyway because it is something that I love to collect and it is makeup brushes these are going to this video is going to be about my must-have makeup brushes they're going to be from every brand there's not going to be one brand that um is consistent throughout this it's good it's there's loads of different brands um Morphe pops up a few times so Eva pops up a few times just depending on what brush it is for my face depends on what brand basically so I'm going to start off with my face brushes first. I have quite a few and basically um, they're all dirty because I have makeup on and I used them all today. So yeah, they're all dirty. I will wash them, just didn't get around to doing it because I thought if I wash them now I'll never get around to doing this video because it is actually 5 to 11 at night and yeah. So start off with my foundation brush. This is my favourite brush ever, like it has become quickly like my go-to brush every single day. I used to use my beauty blender, I used to use loads of different brushes but now this is the brush. It is my Morphe E31, hopefully I'm in focus, I haven't done this whole video thing in a while so hopefully it's all good. Um, it is a flat top kabuki, it is nice and big and what I do is I dot my foundation on my face, get this and dab it like that so it all blends it and then swirl it Um, sometimes when I want fuller coverage I don't actually swirl I just keep patting it all into the skin and I find this gives a really really airbrush finish it's got a really nice base like nice and big really really dense so you don't lose a lot of product which is fantastic because who wants to waste more makeup than what they have to and again it's cheap it's £15 off Beauty Bay um, unless you're in America you can get it off Morphe's site which I think is even cheaper again um, so yeah that is my number one foundation brush so what way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go through the brushes in the way that I use them on my face so like foundation, concealer, powder, blah 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 like that kind of order and then the same with my eyes so foundation Morphe E31 then for my concealer brush, I have been through quite a lot of concealer brushes. I actually really love my Beauty Blender for putting in my concealer under my eyes um, because I think it gives a really, really nice flawless finish. But recently I have been dying over the Morphe G2. This is one of their um, ones from the Gunmetal Collection. It is the perfect shape just to get right in under my eyes and I just dab it all the concealer out and even for my forehead, down my nose, my chin, it's the perfect brush. It's got the perfect tapered point which fits right under my eyes. Um, I used to like smaller brushes than this, um, a few from Soeva, like really small brushes, but I just find like this one does the same thing but like in less time because it is bigger. So yeah, I have been loving this brush. So after my concealer I set under my eyes and this is this is really dirty at the minute because obviously when your concealer is wet and you're setting it with powder you are taking some of the product off but again this is another Morphe brush actually and I know I said I had loads of different brands and I do but Morphe does come up quite a lot because they're cheap and their brushes are amazing so yeah another Morphe brush and um, this is the Morphe M438 it is the perfect brush to set under your eyes it just fits in so nice it is so soft mine is so dirty at the minute like excuse the dirt but it is amazing I love this brush so much and I really really recommend it if you want a good under eye setting brush it can set with set like um pressed powders or pressed powders loose powders any sort of powder you can use this with and it is amazing okay so after I set my under eyes I then go on to set the rest of my face and once again another Morphe brush but believe me there are other ones just wait this is another one from the Gunmetal collection this is the Morphe G O. again it's quite dirty 
and I love this because it's so big like look how much of my face that covers and I literally just press the powder on and it just is it's the softest brush ever like it is amazing Um, again you can get this off Beauty Bay I think I can't remember yeah I'm almost sure I got this one off Beauty Bay Um, I love it like I have always loved my Real Techniques powder brush always and it's still a holy grail for me like I still love it then when I tried this I was like hold on Real Techniques like this is my new fave it's so big so fluffy and again a great price so I really recommend this so after I set my face I go on to do my contour and this is actually a brush that I got free Um, I got it free with a contour kit which is the Tarte um, it's the round, it was in one of my last hauls, the round contour kit with like setting powders, blush and the contour obviously and um, I have hair everywhere, I don't know if any of you have this problem but I shed like crazy and I have hair everywhere in my room but anyway so this is it, it is this side that I use, mind you I have used this side a few times to contour down the side of my nose when I can be bothered doing that which I never really can but I that is ni a nice side for that but this is the side I use because if you can see it fits right in the hollows of my cheeks it's thick enough that gives you like a nice blended contour without it looking like a really harsh line because there has been some brushes like the Real Techniques contour brush the Suiva um, contour brush I think it's got a different name but it's the one that looks like a contour brush they all give me really like harsh streaks and I find it really hard to blend whereas because this is nice and fluffy anyway it blends as you're putting it on which gives you a really really nice effect some people love the harsh contour I do to an extent but I also love the contour that just looks natural and it looks real and this brush does it so you get this free in um the, in that set but you can also buy this separately it is amazing if you can get your hands on this please do because I, I know so many people say to me you know I find contouring so hard like it's so difficult and it's normally the brush that they're using is making it difficult for them get this brush and it is so easy so after I contour I then bronze and if you're going to get one brush that I say today get this one this is another Morphe brush, surprise surprise, it is the M527, again it is dirty and this is my favourite, favourite bronzing brush, I get all around my head with it, all down my cheeks, it is just, oh, guys, trust me when I say this is an amazing, amazing brush, look at the mess of my hair, like sorry, I'm such a mess guys, it is so late but I really wanted to do this for you, um, this is an outstanding brush for bronzing up the face. It blends everything. You can bring it right down your neck. Um, it's nice because it's it's actually quite thin for a bronzing brush. But then it's quite thick this way. So it just blends it really nice. You can put your bronzer exactly where you want because of the shape of this. Without it just being a big mess all over your face. Um, this has like I say to everyone there's a girl who I work with in the makeup shop called Lee and I was saying Lee you have to try this brush we were in BTY in Belfast which is where you can actually buy a few Morphe brushes and other American brand makeup and Lee bought this and she loves it too now so I really really recommend this and um, let me know if you do end up getting this and let me know what you think so after I bronze I highlight because I used to do it that I put my blush on and then my highlight but I find that if I put my highlight on and then my blush it blends better. So I have two brushes that I love to highlight with. They're actually both Morphe. I swear to God guys I am not being sponsored. I have bought all my Morphe brushes with my own money. They're just really bloody good. So my first one is another one from the metal collection it is the morphe g20 i think it's the 23 it's kind of rubbing off this is my perfect highlight brush like i just love it it applies highlight so nicely because it's actually a highlight brush which is nice and thick the real techniques one i use as well but i would use that on like older clients who don't want as much of a strong highlight because it's a wee bit sheer puts on the application a wee bit sheer um where i love 
my intense highlight like I love a good highlight and this puts it on really really nicely when I find that the fan brush does not put it on enough this is when I whip out my Morphe M501 or 501 501 this is like a massive blending brush it kind of looks like an eyeshadow brush a wee bit and this just makes it really really harsh when you're putting this on your highlight but it blends it out as well so you can get this on your real high points of your cheeks really really nicely if you're wanting the highlight that you can see across the room and highlight is a massive trend at the minute so I know you all want that sort of highlight this is a brush for it so now on the blusher my last thing off my entire face this is my old faithful I will never get rid of this brush in fact I will probably keep repurchasing it as long as I need to this is my Real Techniques blusher brush. You cannot go wrong with this brush guys. I swear down, I am obsessed with this brush. Plies the blusher so nicely, blends into your bronzer and highlight. It's just amazing. Like I've owned quite a few Real Techniques brushes. Like in fact, I think I own nearly all of them, apart from a few of the bold metal ones. This is my favorite. Okay, so we're now on to eyes. For the eyes, depending if I do my foundation, concealer and all first, or if I do them after, I always put a base on. I always use the MAC Paint Pots, like they're my favourite, just something I use all the time on myself and on clients. And to put them on, I always, always, always use the 142 Concealer Brush by Soeva. It is amazing. It's just one, it's like a typical concealer brush that you um, find. It's a dome shape at the top and it just blends over the whole eye really nicely. Makes it really, really nice. Then I always put, I'm trying to go into order, but you know what it's like with different eye looks, you do it in different order, but I'll do my typical like everyday eye look. So I then do um, typically a transition color and to put on my transition color, I've got two favorite brushes. Um, my all time, all time, all time favourite and always will be, I have about seven of these brushes, is the Pally McGurgan Makeup Pro Store number 19 blending brush. It is my ultimate, ultimate blending brush. I love this brush so much. Um, I can't recommend it anymore, but I understand not everybody can get this. Um, you can get this in the Makeup Pro Store in Belfast. It is the number 19, as I said, and it just blends everything gorgeously. But as a jib for that, which again is amazing, is the Morphe 504. It's pretty similar, if you can see. Um, this the Morphe ones maybe slightly stiffer, but um, they're pretty similar. I actually used the Morphe one today to blend out my shadow. Um, really, really like this again. Perfect blending brush, and it's so cheap. Both of these are actually really, really well priced. So if you can get the Pally McGurgan one, I really recommend that. But if not, definitely go for the Morphe 504. They are amazing, and I want to buy about 20 billion of these brushes because I will never get sick of them. So next is kind of like outer corner crease brushes. Um, I have three for this. Again, some are dirty, one is not. One is actually very clean. We'll go for the clean one first. Again, this is another Morphe brush. It's the Morphe 513. It is a gorgeous crease brush. It is so clean at the minute. I love it when they're so clean, but like I hate cleaning my brushes. Um, it's just the perfect size just to get right into your crease, your outer corner, and again, it blends really nicely. Um, so again, really, really cheap and I really recommend this brush. Next is the 227 uh, Look Soft Definer by Soeva. This is dirty because I did use this today. Again, just your typical crease brush. It is slightly smaller than a blending brush and it just goes really, really nicely into the outer corner and you can blend it right into the crease. I think I have about five of these as well amazing brushes I can't fault them in any way and they do not shed one tiny bit I have washed this brush about I it could be close to a hundred times and it hasn't shed once I love it and I just got lipstick on it so another one which is actually a slightly different shape these are slightly more fluffy whereas this one's actually slightly it's thicker here and then when you turn it it's really thin and um, this is the morphe e13 it is dirty as well because i did use it today for my middle color and um, it is a gorgeous i don't know where it's in focus i can't really tell 
but anyway um it is a gorgeous brush really really soft this is from their elite collection and it is a really stunning brush all of their elite collection i cannot fault i have loads of their elite brushes and i really want to get some more um they're really high quality and again really well priced um so yeah this is another lovely really lovely crease brush so now to move on to kind of your lid color i actually put, ended up putting a purple like translation glitter on but i did just have white on all day and i used this brush this is the 234 lux lux smoky shader it's just a flat shader brush to me to be honest with you i don't know what's smoky about it and um, suppose you could smoke out underneath but i personally love this to pack on the color it's just a flat brush um and it goes thin it's actually better to show you against my face um just your typical packing on color brush amazing can't fault it and again i have about five of these so now to smoke out underneath um one brush i love is the 235 contour shader brush which is actually an angled um i don't know if you can see an angled brush and it's really thin at the side and it's angled again and if I can just fit this under my eye so well to really smoke out underneath the eye. Um, so I use that with the medium colour and then the darkest colour I go in with the Morphe 507. And it's just a slightly smaller point brush and I go in with maybe a really dark brown or black. And just really connect this to my wing and outer corner to smoke this out again. Really nice brush and it's a wee bit more precise so you can get that darker colour closer to the lash line. This brush I use for a few things. I love this for an inner corner highlight. Really, really stunning for an inner corner highlight because it's a really stiff, small brush. Um, so it just packs on the colour loads and it gives a popping highlight in the inner corner of your eye. But again, you can use this underneath to smoke it out. Now, last but not least, I don't use a lip brush on myself. I use it on clients and I use a Nancy one. It's just their lip brush. So last but not least, as you can tell, or the brows. So for the brows I use, oh no, oh I can see it a wee bit. It's the Anastasia number 12 brush, brow brush. It's just an angled brush with a spoolie on the end. That's pretty much it. You can't really go wrong with that. Anastasia brushes are pretty good. Um, so yeah, I can get really sharp lines with it and it's just really good on this hand because it's got the spoolie on the end. So there's not much to say about brow brushes to be honest because I mean a brow brush is a brow brush but then to clean up my brows with concealer I will never use another brush to clean up my brows other than this one. This is my holy grail of all brow brushes. It is the 322 brow line by Soeva. If you can see it's really really angled. It's so sharp and um, really really thin so it gives you the really sharp lines that you can really I love my brows sharp so you can really sharpen your brows with this really stunning brush and I really really love this and I think I said I really 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 love this about a hundred times in every brush but it's true so guys this is my favorite must-have brushes I love them to pieces if you try any of them out please let me know or if you have any brushes that you think I should try out that I would like please let me know because I am a brush addict and I love trying new things so yeah, hopefully you're glad to see me back. I am glad to be back and I will be doing videos every week. If you have any video requests, please let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.